Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today I want to talk about a few important tips in Serum. So first tip is making chords out of just one oscillator. So for example, if I have any waveform, something like and I want to make a chord out of this, what I would do is detune this by two and increase the tuning a little bit. Sweet. So what you're hearing right now is two notes that are two half steps apart. So if you go in this global tab over here and you change this number right over here to something like seven, then you're going to hear. And then you can go back to the global tab and change the width to zero. And if you do three voices, sweet. So tip number two is rendering warp. So if I have initialized preset and I pick another waveform, so something like monster one, And then I pick a warp, so something like sync window full. So you can visually see what this sync does to our wave table. And I can go into this menu now and click on render oscillator A warp. And what this is going to do is it's going to render the sync into my WT position. So if I turn the sync off and I change the WT position, you can see that the sync has been rendered onto it. So now you can add another warp effect on it, so something like bend plus minus. Sweet. So tip number three. If I pick another waveform, so something like Matrix C C64. And then I can place an LFO on here. All right, maybe even over here. So what I can do now is make my own LFO shape. So if I click this point over here, add a new point by double clicking and... All right, so now I can click on this folder icon down here, save my shape. And this is what a lot of people don't realize they can do. So save your shapes. It saves a lot of time, so pew pew. And I can go into my LFO 2 or 3, click on the folder under user, you can see pew pew right there. And I can also alt click on an LFO and drag it on another LFO. So alt click 1, drag it on 2, alt click 2, drag it on 3, or any, any way like that. And you'll see the LFOs get copied. And then you can change your LFO separately to make them different. And if you want these curves, to move at the same time, then alt clicking the curves will, right? Really cool stuff. So something, again, we miss out a lot. And if you alt click this folder, it's going to take you through a bunch of presets that Serum has. So if I alt click this curve, you can see that all the curves are moving. And then I can change individual curves like that. Then even click and drag this to my LFO2 and do something else on the LFO2 and maybe chain the curves a little differently. So yeah, just basically a whole bunch of things you can do with your LFO tabs. The next tip is effects presets. So I'm gonna go in my effects tab and select a whole bunch of different effects just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna select all these randomly, move these parameters. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just changing these effects just so I can create my own kind of effects chain and then I'll show you uh, how to use these for your other sounds. So something like that and multiband.
Okay, so here is a bunch of effects that I made and I really like this sound right now. So what I can do is right click over here and save my effects presets. And this is very important to save your effects because a bunch of times effects really enhance our stuff. So I have my own custom folder called my effects and I'm gonna save this as tips tutorial. And now if I go into my initialize preset and I select another waveform, anything random, maybe add a warp. And then I can go into my effects, right click on this side over here, load effects. And in my effects, I can go into the one that I just saved. So very, very cool stuff. And you can go into your LFO presets, select your own preset, drag that. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.